Christos Papadopoulos, uh, taking the Masters of Clinical Dentistry program through Graduate Orthodontics. Uh, I came to the Graduate Program of Orthodontics here at Western uh, because the program here has an exceptional reputation that it's built uh, on for the last uh, number of decades and uh, I'm very fortunate to be part of the group we have here and uh, it's been a great three years so far. So an orthodontist not only needs to understand the biomechanics of moving teeth in a healthy and stable way to make someone have a great bite and a good smile, but we also need to understand the growth of the jaws, especially for young patients that we're seeing and monitoring. So part of my research is investigating uh, nasal morphology as a predictor of craniofacial growth direction. I believe it starts at the top. We have uh, two uh, exceptional people in Dr. Ramandris, who is our chair, and Dr. Tassi, who is the clinical director. And uh, from them, they've created a very positive working environment for us to not only treat our patients in, but also learn in and study in. Um, in addition, we have a number of clinical instructors that uh, travel up to two and a half hours drive to come here and teach us. And um, overall, it's just been a, a very strong family sense of our program that allows us to thrive. Uh, we're very much a family. Uh, there's only nine residents at a time in the program, three per year. So we develop very close relationships with each other, but also our faculty and our great support staff that we have. Um, so I'd say being able to wake up every day and go to an environment that you can work and learn in uh, that's positive is, is a great thing. Uh, if you were in the position of an, an undergrad and you wanted to become an orthodontist, first you have to do dental school first. Uh, so in order to get into dental school, you need to have firstly good grades during your undergraduate degree. But I would also say make sure that your interest in becoming a dentist is there first before you decide that you want to be an orthodontist because you have to do become a dentist first. Um, if you were in dental school and you were looking to apply uh, to specialize to be an orthodontist, uh, I would do a lot of self-reflection and make sure that um, orthodontics is a specialty that you would like to pursue. Dentistry is great because it gives you a variety of different uh, different aspects of dentistry that you can do, but with orthodontics you're the specialist, that's what you're going to be doing every day, all day. So if you decided that that's what you want to go through and do, and you want to make a difference in people's lives, and basically the most rewarding thing for me is seeing self-confidence go up in a lot of these um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 year old children. Um, you get to see them transform with their self-esteem by even making them have a very healthy, positive smile. Um, but I think that, that that's something that you should do.